Yeah, no. Uh, <clears throat> I will say, though, now, mm. I actually don't use the BIOS anymore now. I installed Refined. Okay. I love that thing. It has saved my ass so many times. I have been told to do a video on Refined for ages. I think the, the first time someone mentioned it to me was when the big um, Arch Linux grub issue happened. Yeah, no, Refined, um, I had a point where Windows, <clears throat> it didn't, it deleted my Linux partition's boot partition, and only the boot partition. Oh. Uh, so, like, everything was there, it just couldn't see it to boot it. I installed Refine, Refine makes a new boot partition for everything, mm -hmm. and it saved me from losing my entire OS. Oh, wow. I've used it in order to fix broken Windows installs. Uh, save installs where windows took over it's just been a absolute godsend <laughs> i might have to actually try it out at some point i've just always used grub because that's just what people have said just use grub 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 works i've used if um... i was using only linux distros hmm. i would probably just stick to grub but fair enough. throwing windows into the mix fucks with everything yeah yeah that's absolutely fair because windows used to work like it couldn't you used to have like Windows in your, like, uh, sorry, Linux in your Windows bootloader? Um, but then things... I think so. But you, I don't think you can do that now. So now you have to like have it in Grub. But then sometimes the Windows bootloader wants to take over anyway, and it's yeah, a it's mess. Just not, it's not a good time. <clears throat> yeah, it's it... an absolute mess. Um, it is a. It's a fork of the no longer maintained re-effort. <laughs> uh, fixes many issues with non-Mac UFI booting. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> As I said, I'll have to try it out at some point. Uh, it's just, the only problem with messing with my, bootlo uh, my bootloader is if I break the bootloader, then I break the bootloader, and that's just going to be annoying to fix. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that would not be a fun time to mm -hmm. fix. Well, like, I have a bunch of... um. Arch Linux boot media. So, like, it's not a big deal. I can just spin that yeah, up and I, deal uh, with it. I broke the bootloader mm. on Windows once. Mm. Mm. That was one of the times where Refind uh, helped me save my ass because I was able to... I don't remember how. This was, like, three years ago. Mm -hmm. I was able to get use it to get into a different partition mm -hmm. that had Linux on it and then use that to back up the data from the Windows install even though I couldn't boot it. Huh. You know I don't, again, you, it was like three years ago. Do you know how you broke the Windows bootloader? Installing Linux. <laughs> right. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> this was when I had first ever tried to install Ubuntu. Mm. Right. And it's part of, it's one of the reasons why I, had, I waited even longer to try Linux. Because like that yeah. happened, I was like, I'm not touching this ever again. I didn't touch Linux again for like a year. Was that a separate drive situation or just a separate partition? I think it was a separate partition. Oh, that's even grosser. <laughs> Yeah. Again, the entire install yeah. didn't survive. It just let me find a way to back up the data. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I, I think that whenever someone is installing Linux, especially like their first couple of times, never do the partition method. Always no, I give it that. a clean drive. I, all these people are just like, oh yeah, just go through and make yourself a new partition. Dude, most users don't know what the hell a partition is. Well, even if you do, if you make an issue, if you make a mistake there, uh, it's not going to go too well. I just love it. It's like, it's so easy. All you got to do is install it on a new partition. You have you gotta... already lost most of the people you're trying to convince. <laughs> All you got to do is open up F disk and press this sequence of letters and then it will work. Ah! 